Now to our viewers across the Win Network, that's where we leave the national news. Win Local News with Jeff Phillips is next after the break. This is Win News. Tonight, rural Australia goes on display at the Royal Easter Show. Labor promises a medical research facility. And the program breaking down barriers in culturally diverse communities. Good evening, I'm Jeff Phillips. It's the time of the year when the country comes to the city. The 193rd Sydney Royal Easter Show is underway, celebrating our rural traditions and showcasing the best of regional produce and livestock. When news reporter Rob Morrison was at Homebush for the opening day, where the district displays took centre stage. <laughs> Ahead on Win News, the future of a controversial Highlands bowling club to be decided by the courts. And Warilla's Jeremy Lopez ready to live a dream at one of the world's best football academies. This sports report brought to you by Bunnings Warehouse, where the lowest prices are just the beginning. Welcome back. The Supreme Court of New South Wales will now decide the future of the controversial Mittagong Bowling Club. A rescission motion to stop the demolition of the club was upheld at last night's Winter Caribbean Shire Council meeting. Residents want to turn the old building into a community centre, but council says the land is locked by a trust. The Southern Highlands ratepayers put forward a summons to council to have the Supreme Court decide if the trust can be broken. Due to the rescission motion, council won't be able to discuss the matter for the next three months. People across the country have embraced everything purple today in the name of epilepsy awareness. The neurological condition causes seizures and affects more than 250,000 Australians. A purple cake to mark the day it's which... First season in the Premier Division, riding for KTM. That is a short sport. The Friday weather details are next. Who will give your family budget a fair go? The best election night coverage, Saturday at 5, live on WIN. A cool morning with the sun coming out to warm up the afternoon and the good news is the Bureau says it should have similar conditions for us for tomorrow and right across the weekend. First tonight to the satellite, patchy cloud increasing over parts of the northern rivers and northern tablelands with the low pressure trough is causing showers and thunderstorms to develop. Cloud over southern parts of the state associated with the low over Bass Strait is also causing cool showers to develop. Moving on to the synoptic chart, remnants of tropical cyclone Nathan are still generating gusty winds, heavy showers and thunderstorms over the top end. A cold front and low across in Victoria and Tassie causing showers, strong winds, some thunder and small hail. Temperature wise today, Wollongong peaked at 25 degrees, Bowral registered 21, a maximum of 25 in Nowra, 23 in Ulladulla, Batemans Bay and Maruya 25, 24 for Naruma, bigger 25 and a couple of 24s there for beautiful Marimbula and Eden. The forecast for the Illawarra and the Highlands, it'll be a warm and sunny Friday with westerly winds. For the south coast, a mostly sunny end of the five day working week, winds west and all westerly in the middle of the day, then tending west to south westerly at night. Seas are running at one and a half metres on a one metre swell. The first tide tomorrow is uh, high at 2.30, the low right on 9.30. For a Friday in Eden and Marimbula looking at 22 degrees. Bega and Naruma looking at 23. Marie and Batemans Bay should get to 24 degrees. Ulladulla 23, the Shoalhaven 23. Seven degrees overnight in Barrel tomorrow 19, whilst in Wollongong stretching from 14 to 22. Further ahead, a sunny weekend with patchy fog in the morning and light winds. And that is Win News for Thursday the 26th of March. To view some of our reports, visit the Win News Illawarra Facebook page. I'm Jeff Phillips. Stand by now for the cricket and the Indian run chase. Good night. This has been a Win News presentation from Win, Australia's number one regional television network.